we are now going to proceed to do the grafting. We have our cell cups, which we've had in the hive for 24 hours, and we have our our frame of selected larva. Now the, the, the larva size we are looking for is a three day to four day old larva. When a queen lays the egg, it takes three days to hatch. So we have to intervene in the third and fourth day to graft that larva to a queen cell and change that bee from becoming a worker bee into a queen bee. All bees, worker bees, are female. The drone is the only male, and the, the unusual thing about bees is that the queen bee, if she lays a fertilized egg, it becomes a female. If she lays an unfertilized egg, it becomes a drone, a male. So those the, that's the uh, unusual distinction about honeybees in, uh, which are different to most other breeding programs. So what we are actually doing is selecting what would be destined to be a worker bee and intervening and transplanting that larva into a larger queen cell which the bees recognize as a queen cell. And so the bees will then feed this queen cell or larva on royal jelly which is a milk that they produce from their hypofungal glands in their, in their heads and it is like breast milk to bees. This is a very highly concentrated food which will develop this what would be a worker larvae into a queen larvae and eventually produce a queen bee. Now in the selection of doing that we, we select a, a brush for doing the grafting. Now the brushes we use are sable hair, triple O sable hair brush. Very fine, very soft. Don't be tempted to use a cheaper nylon brush because the, the bristles on the brush will be too sharp and may damage the larva when you're transferring it and defeat the purpose. So there's really no substitute for a high quality brush in doing this job. Now the process of, of grafting is a skill that takes a long time to learn. Uh, it's a bit like riding a bicycle. You'll fall off many times, but when you master it, you'll, you'll, you'll do it for life. It's, it's something that comes to you naturally. The way I normally advocate for people to learn is to start by, by placing the brush in the, in the cell and lifting the larva on the brush. Now that's a very, very small larvae. Now the action of feel is more important than sight. So to develop that, you can just take them and place them on the frame. And do this a thousand times, and then you'll get the art of lifting them and releasing them from the brush. The action used is to push the brush in and cause the brush to bend at the tip, which, which acts like a spoon. It goes in under the lava and lifts it. To, re, to, to release it, you must place it down and then roll the brush and slide out from underneath it. So we'll, we'll have another go here. The brush needs to be kept fine and kept together. We have a lava here. Now to, to release that lava, we, we place it down and we roll the brush and move out from under it. So that's, that's the action we're going to use. So we now have to select the very small larva and place one in each cell. good light for doing this and 
the action is is repetitive but you need to work reasonably quickly because these young larvae can dry out very quickly when they're out of the hive and so if you're a beginner beekeeper and doing this for the first time I would suggest that you only do four or five like that just put four or five on a bar and start with that because the time you're taking to get these grafted and back into the hive could defeat the purpose because you're working too slowly. So the trick is for a new beekeeper to do less and do more often and you'll end up with the same results. We, we, we work with roughly a 30, 30 odd cells here and we expect to get 19 or 20 of those accepted each graft. But we are doing this proficiently, quickly and the steps are familiar to us. So we'll just carry on and we'll, we'll quickly graft these, one per each. You need good sight and you need good light. If when you go in to, to, to lift the grub, you'll notice some of them I miss. If they don't go on the brush and come out easily first time uh, and you've rolled them round and disturbed them they're, they're more likely to be damaged so therefore I uh, just go on and select another one I don't persevere with with one that that gives me trouble some some lift out very easily others are quite difficult if they're difficult I leave them because uh, you're more likely to damage them the more you roll them round and the more effort you make to get them out, the more likely you are to damage them. We've now grafted one larvae to each cell. We turn those down again and the unusual thing about bees, queen bees, are always raised in a downward position, whereas, whereas worker bees are in a side position, in a cell. But when a queen bee is raised, she's always raised in a downward position. So we now take this away and put it back in our starter hive and we can return this back to our breeder hive.